Hello and welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika and today I'm going to show you how to correct the viscosity of your lotion or cream. Okay, so today we're, I'm going to show you how to correct the viscosity of your lotion or cream. And the first step, uh, I want to show you how, um, how sometimes you can take a nice thick uh, cream and um, thin it out by adding too many things like essential oils. So I'm, I have this Breathe Green essential oil blend and I have this lovely cream and I want to scent it with the Breathe Green. And I really like a lot of scent and maybe you do too. And maybe this is why you're watching the video. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go crazy and add a whole bunch of essential oil and thin down my cream. So before I do that, I want to kind of show you what it looks like previous to thinning. So it's nice and thick. You can kind of see it sticks to the glass. It's, you know, it's got a nice, a nice viscosity. It's a nice cream. So now I'm going to thin it down because I like lots of essential oil. So I've taken my essential oil into my lovely cream. As lovely as that is, I want more. <laughs> okay, so now I've gone really crazy with the essential oil mixing it into my cream and all of a sudden it starts to look a little funny like maybe the oil's not quite mixing in and you may think oh well maybe I just need to mix it more but you can kind of start to see when it starts to break your emulsion it kind of feels like like you can kind of feel it as you're working with it and surprisingly this is a pretty stable formulation, um, so I am going to have to add more essential oil. <laughs> okay. So it's not just essential oils, obviously, that can break your emulsion. Um, adding um, tinctures or sometimes other additives that you want to put in there can react and um, break your emulsion. So this, this fix works for um, if you break your emulsion no matter how you break it, pretty much. So now we've added enough essential oil that you can see the viscosity has changed quite a bit on this. And I'm surprised, um, but the cream seems to be holding up to this incredible amount of essential oil that I've added. Um, and my expectation was that it would break. Um, and it hasn't. So uh, we're just going to fix the viscosity. Sometimes what you'll notice though is that as you're looking at your cream, you'll see it kind of looks like, um, like, like cracked mud um, in the texture. So you can see the oil in between like what looks like plates of nice lotion. And I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, and perhaps that's what your lotion or cream looks like now, and that's why you're watching this video. Um, so, in order to correct that, there are two ways that you can do that. And the first way is to simply add xanthan gum. And when I add xanthan gum for a correction, what I do is I um, take my xanthan gum and I put it on my scale. And I tear out my scale, meaning I hit, I hit it until, so that it, it tears to zero um, with my xanthan gum on the scale. And once I tear it out, then I take, of course, my xanthan gum, and I take my high shear mixer and slowly start to add xanthan gum. And you, with xanthan gum, you want to slowly sprinkle it in while you're adding it. Um, it may be helpful to heat your lotion up. Uh, what happens though once you heat your lotion up is that it, um, will, it will automatically be thinner because it's hot. So it's kind of hard to judge viscosity. So you just kind of have to use your best judgment at that point. Um, I haven't had a problem mixing xanthan gum like this, so hopefully you will find this helpful too. Um, so basically all you do is you start mixing and sprinkling your xanthan gum. Thank you. 
And the viscosity on that has already changed a little bit. Let's see if I can get you a get you a clear view here of what that looks like. So you can see it's starting to stick to the glass again. And I could keep adding xanthan gum until I got it to back to the thickness that I desire. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you another way to thicken up your lotion. Um, so I'm going to clean this up and I'll be right back with the next method. Okay, so the second way to thicken up your lotion or cream is to add emulsifying wax um, at 1% at a time. So I have weighed out my, um, my cream here and I have 1% um, emulsifying wax. So I am going to go and heat up my cream and my emulsifying wax. You wanna heat your cream to about 120 to 130 Fahrenheit. And of course your emulsifying wax to melting, which happens to be about 160 Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna go and heat both of these up and I'll be back and I'll show you how to add your emulsifying wax to your lotion. Okay, so I've melted the emulsifying wax and heated up the lotion. And in order to add it, you simply take your high shear mixer and start to blend. So the thing about the emulsifying wax and heating up your lotion is that you're really not going to know if the viscosity was corrected until your lotion has cooled back down to room temperature. So um, it is a process of trial and error. So 1% at a time, let it cool back down, see where your viscosity is, add another 1% if you need to. So is it a long process? It can be. However, it is worth it to get the right viscosity if you record how much emulsifying wax you had to use to correct the viscosity. The next time that you do your project, you will already know how much emulsifying wax you have to add and you won't have to go through the trial and error. So the first time it may be a little cumbersome, but after that you should be just fine if you record your results. We hope you found this video useful and helpful in helping you correct the viscosity of your lotion or cream. Um, please stay tuned for more great videos.